Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariongi and uh, we are discussing the topic assets, bases and indicators, a topic in Form 1 chemistry. So at this stage we are discussing the properties of acids and uh, during our previous lesson uh, we discussed one property that when dilute acids react with metals we get a salt and hydrogen gas. We also went on further to reveal that hydrogen is a colorless gas that burns with a pop sound. So that is how you test that the gas is hydrogen gas. So if we find that a gas is burning in air with a pop sound, that's a pop sound, that gas is definitely hydrogen gas. So today we are going to look at uh, uh, different salts that are produced by different acids. So we have uh, in one column, we'll have the acid and then we'll have the type of salt, the type of salt it forms. So for example, if it is hydrochloric acid, then it, the type of salt that it forms, it forms chlorides. It forms chloride. So something like sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, uh, calcium chloride, they are obtained from hydrochloric acid. If we take another acid such as sulfuric acid, then the type of salts that we get, they are called sulfates. So calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate, they are salts obtained from sulfuric acid. And from nitric acid, we get salts that are called nitrates. Sodium nitrate, magnesium nitrate, ETC. We have phosphoric acid. This one forms salts that are called phosphates. And then lastly, carbonic acid. So basically, we are saying that we have an acid and the type of salts it forms. Hydrochloric acid forms chlorides, salts that are called chlorides. Sulfuric acid forms sulfates. Nitric acid forms nitrates. Phosphoric acid forms phosphates and carbonic acid forms carbonates. So different acids, different acids form different salts, as we can see from this table. So that is uh, as far as the acids are concerned and the types of salts that they form. So we have that and uh, we'll take some few examples, we'll take a few examples of reactions between metals and dilute acids. And on this, we'll take uh, hydrochloric acid plus magnesium. So we'll get magnesium chloride because from hydrochloric acid we get chlorides. So we'll have magnesium chloride.
plus hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gas must be there as long as there is a metal and an acid. Can I have another example? Still using hydrochloric acid but now use uh, uh, zinc which is a metal plus hydrochloric acid. So here we will not get magnesium, we will get zinc chloride. Zinc chloride plus hydrogen, which is a gas. Another example, let us, let us now change from hydrochloric acid and use sulfuric acid and say aluminium. That's another metal plus sulfuric acid. So we'll get aluminium sulfate. Aluminium sulfate plus hydrogen gas. So it is a sulfate because we are using sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid produces sulfates. Hydrochloric acid produces chlorides like we have seen in the other two. So the fourth example, we can use nitric acid plus magnesium will get magnesium nitrate from nitric acid magnesium nitrate plus hydrogen gas and then lastly e we can use phosphoric acid and say zinc plus phosphoric acid will get zinc phosphate plus hydrogen gas. So we have seen five examples of metals reacting with acids to form different salts that are produced by different acids. The moment we use hydrochloric acid, we'll get a chloride. When we use nitric acid, we'll get a nitrate. When we use carbonic acid, we get a carbonate. We've seen the examples, zinc plus hydrochloric acid, we get zinc chloride plus hydrogen. Aluminium plus sulfuric acid, aluminium sulfate plus hydrogen gas. Zinc plus phosphoric acid, zinc phosphate plus hydrogen gas. So that is the different salts that are produced by different acids. So you can have a, an assignment there. So the first question in the assignment, complete the chemical equations below. The first one, magnesium plus nitric acid, you complete. Calcium plus phosphoric acid, you complete. Zinc plus sulfuric acid, you complete that equation. And then number two, state two observations made when metals react with dilute acids. When a metal is reacting with the dilute acids, which are some of the two observations that you are going to make. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.